this quick tutorial we will see ResUp FX plug for resize. It is advised to watch the ResUp overview tutorial first, as this is an add-on tutorial to just cover the FX plug for resize. In Motion, resize works like it does in After Effects or Premiere, but in Final Cut Pro there is a different workflow technique. Let's see how resize works in Final Cut Pro. Just as a recap, ResUp contains two plugins, ResUp Enhance to enhance the quality of your content, and ResUp Resize, which will allow you to upscale your video without loss of quality. Let's see Resize workflow in Final Cut Pro. In this Final Cut Pro workflow example, we will see how to scale two times from HD 1920 by 1080 to UHD 3840 by 2160. Note that our project is 32-bit, which is best if the source is YUV and our viewer is set to 100. We can start by creating a 4K project in Final Cut Pro. Next, we can drag a custom generator to the timeline. This is like a solid or a constant in After Effects. We will apply ResUp Resize to the generator making sure the generator is the same length as the source layer that we want to res up. Now, we can select the source layer field and choose our source full HD clip, and then select apply clip. Note, Final Cut Pro will automatically upscale the source clip to the desired output size with a zoom factor equal to one. To turn that off, click on the timeline and scroll down to the bottom of the inspector window. In the Spatial Conform tab, simply switch Spatial Conform Type to None. The default is Fit. Now we can scale to whichever size we want with Zoom and Offset if desired. And we can choose the method along with the rest of the settings we saw in the previous tutorial for resize. I will just go over them briefly again so it's all in one tutorial for you. We can see the difference between just scaling the footage to this size using the host application and using ResUp Resize. If we choose Linear, that's like using the Transform mode in Final Cut Pro. Mitchell is just slightly better than Linear if we scale down. Lansos is a reference to a normal upscaling filter without AI. Now we can compare using the two SuperRes filters. These are the ones that use AI, and you see that when we choose SuperRes and SuperRes Edge Smoothing, we get two more menus, Deconvolve and Enhance Details. These extra controls allow us to finesse the results. Enhance Details allows you to increase the amount of detail until it's too much. You can use the edge smoothing at one if the source has compression artifacts that get too amplified, as in this example of Notre Dame. We can also look at the pre-process setup. At the beginning of this tutorial, I mentioned that the footage is YUV and the project is 32-bit. To avoid any color clamping, it's best to check the Compute Over Range checkbox. The default settings for Compute Over Range should be good in most scenarios. This should work well for most YUV footage. It's set to minus 0.5 to 1.5 by default, which is good normally for 10-bit video sources. If you have noisy footage and you see artifacts caused by the noise, for instance, you can choose Source is Noisy. A denoising filter will be applied prior to zoom. You can see if you choose this option, you have additional controls for radius, threshold, and suppress. If it is really noisy footage, you may want to just apply our denoise plugin as a separate pass prior to ResUp Resize so that you don't scale up the grain. You also have a Source is Soft option that you can choose if your footage is soft. This is a sharpening filter, and you see that you have controls, radius, threshold, suppress, and strength. So this is the recommended workflow for using the ResUp FX plug for resize.